Hey everyone, so we're gonna do two minutes on the term autopsy. I often get asked when I perform the autopsy and Bulmers do not do autopsies. However, the term autopsy and the procedure for investigating a body to determine cause of death has been around for many, many, many centuries. So the first notable one was back in the third century in Alexandria. One of the first you may hear about was actually Julius Caesar. They did an autopsy on him to determine which of the 23 stabbings was the one that killed him actually. Who knew? So when autopsies became a little more defined in terms of what you do during an autopsy was back in 150 BCE many, many years ago. It's been around forever. So an autopsy is just that investigation of the body to determine a cause of death. It begins with an external examination where there may be x-rays taken, the body looked over, photographs taken, samplings taken, looking over that whole body to see if there's anything notable they need to investigate further. Then an internal examination is done. There'll be a cranial autopsy where the skull is opened, the brain removed, samplings taken. Sometimes, as I've talked about, the brain is kept for further studies. Then a thoracic examination is done where a straight incision or a Y incision is done on the chest to open the cavity. All the organs are removed and a sampling is taken of each one what the person last ate, what was in their stomach content, all of that is noted, looked into, um, blood work is done as well. So blood will be removed as well and sent in for testing. They test for any outside items like drugs, chemicals, things that may have influenced what happened to the individual, but also the levels of everything that occurs naturally in the body to see if Maybe the sodium level is off in the individual or anything else. So they look into every key component to determine what the cause of death, manner of death, what may have contributed to the death may be. Now, when you look at autopsies, there are four terms of different types of autopsies. There's forensic or coroner autopsies, which is where you go to seek to find that cause of death. Clinical or pathological autopsies, looking for a particular disease, anatomical autopsies, which is done in medical school, or a virtual or medical imaging autopsy, which is when you just do that CAT scan or x-rays to look at the body from the outside. So there's a few different kind of autopsies, all looking for different things within the body, but they are required if a deceased dies that's not under a doctor's care, and they're looking for a cause of death to see if natural, unnatural, homicide, accidental, what may be that cause of death and what contributed to it.